Hi, and welcome back to my channel, you guys. So I just got this hair done, and so I decided, I can't stay when people do that. They always get in the lane. You see cones, and you want to cut folk off. Glad it wasn't me. Anyway, I just got this wig done, <clears throat> and so I decided to do a French fry and chit chat with you. Yes, I'm eating fries. This is my cheat meal for the week. I deserve it. I've been eating good all week. Plus, I got on the scale, and I am down five pounds, you guys. So... I'm going to enjoy my little fries as we chit chat. So the other day I was asked the question, why, why do I motivate people? And I thought that was a very interesting question. And so I just decided, you know what, let me do another vlog today because I already did one earlier and talk about that. And I just feel for me, I love motivating people. I love making people feel empowered. I love seeing people walk around because y'all know how I'm about my my, my pecs lifted huh, and my head held high and because I don't walk around in a slumped posture or a posture of of, of just beat downness and that may, may not even be a word but I like it though and so I love encouraging other people to live their best life <laughs> excuse me live their best life and do all the things that their hearts their heart desires because it just it bothers me when I see people that are not living up to their full potential. It really does. And it can be man, boy, woman, a girl, young, old, and everything in between. Doesn't matter. It bothers me. And so I have just decided that, well, I shouldn't say I decided. I think it was decided for me many years ago that that is what I would be called to do, to motivate people. And let me tell you something. We all hit the ground from time to time. But you don't have to stay there. Life is always going to deal you a bad hand. It's just like, well, I don't play cards. But I'm pretty sure those of you that play cards, you get a bad hand every now and then. Every hand that you get is not a winning hand. And so life is the same way. Sometimes life will deal you a bad hand. So what do you do? In a card game, you fold, right? And I only know that because I watched a couple of, of movies that had card games in them. And... And so you fold. Well, in life, you can't fold because you have too many people counting on you. If you have children, they're counting on you. If you have a significant other, they're counting on you. And and if you have a business partner, I've said this before, you have people that are counting on you. So you can't always fold just because life doesn't go the way you want it to. Would we all like to? Of course we would from time to time, but you can't. That's just the way life is. You can't just fold up and walk away and say, the heck with it, I'm not doing this because life isn't fair. And life isn't going to be fair. I don't think it'll ever be fair, truth be told, but it is what it is. And so you have to play the hand that you were dealt. You know, you might have started from humble beginnings. Maybe your family didn't have much. Maybe you grew up poor, but you don't have to stay that way. And I'm going to tell you, I love a good rags to riches story. I really do. I love a good rags to riches story because it goes to show you that just because life dealt you, I must y'all forgive my language, a shitty hand, you don't have to stay that way. You can step up and 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 your your latter years can be better. I'm spitting, excuse me, than your earlier years. So that's why I motivate people. Because there's some somebody somewhere that doesn't have anybody to do that for them. And it's really sad. That that really makes my spirit hurt. To know that there are people that go through life every day and there's nobody <clears throat> ever in their corner saying, hey, you can do this. Girl, you got this. Boy, you can do this. And it's sad. It really is sad. But that's the reality and the world that we live in. Everybody's not happy for you. Everybody's not clapping when you succeed. Y'all, let me tell you a little secret. It is hard to eat fries, talk to you all, and drive, okay? The time is of the essence. It is now 1238, I believe. Yep, 1238. My dad has to be a physical therapy at 1 o'clock, so I've got to move, okay? So, we're going to make the best of this. That's the only reason why you all are going to see me eat. And I think I told you all a while ago, a couple people would ask me to do a mukbang video. And what that is, is where you're eating and talking. And I was raised that you did not talk with food in your mouth. However, because time is of the essence, I don't have any choice. So, I have to eat and talk with food in my mouth. I mean, uh, <laughs> talk with food in my mouth because I want to get this video done and get where I need to be because I still have so hopefully I'll be back home by 2 15 
I still have a ton of stuff I need to get done today. So come on, let's just get on your blink and let's roll. Let's roll. I got stuff to do. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about that because oftentimes I do get asked, and I think it's a genuine question by people, what led you to, to motivate people? What, what makes you want to do that? Well, somebody once told me, said, well, look, you know, you have to let people fend for themselves. They have to do what they need to do for them. I'm saying to myself, well, I'm pretty sure along the way in your life, somebody motivated you. Well, at least I hope they did anyway. And maybe they didn't. You know, I don't know. Maybe they didn't. But for me, I will, oh, excuse me. I will always motivate because I believe that is my calling in life. And I realized I've been doing this all my life, ever since I was a, a kid, to be honest with you. I've always been that person that people felt comfortable to talking about their issues. And so, I now mean, I just get paid to do it, you know? I've been doing it for free. I have a good friend, Mark, love him dearly, but <laughs> I think if he couldn't call Michelle to ask her a question or run something by her, Lord, I don't know what would happen. But it's all good because we all need somebody that we can talk to. We all need somebody to encourage us. That's why I'm always careful though. When people are telling me their issues, I'm always careful about giving advice because sometimes people just, man, that Corvette is nice. I'm sorry, I digress. People just want you to listen. Y'all can see it just went by. Um, they don't necessarily, excuse me. They don't necessarily want any advice. They just want you to listen. And so I've had to learn the difference because I would stay up late trying to figure out everybody's problem. And then I had to tell myself, Michelle, mm -mm. your goal in life is to motivate people. It's not to stay up late, missing sleep, trying to solve their problems. You're not the problem solver. <laughs> you are not the fixer. So I had to learn that. And it was hard to let that go because I gotten so good at it. But I realized that that's not my calling in life. My calling in life is to help you figure out how to fix your problems but but more importantly to motivate you and um, i am always thankful you guys when i get emails or phone calls or messages from you all sam michelle thank you so much for doing that video because you have no idea how it helped me that just makes me feel so good to know that somebody benefits from the work that i do so having said that I'm gonna take my greasy mouth and my greasy hands. I'm turning on my sister's street right now. I'm gonna collect dad and we're gonna get on up out of here so I can get on back to work because I have stuff to do. I wanna wish you all a happy Friday. Y'all, these fries are so good. Can I just tell you that? Mm. Yeah, so good. So I'm gonna wish you all a happy Friday. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have an amazing weekend on purpose. And when I say that, I always say it, because somebody asked me one day, well, what does that mean, have an amazing weekend on purpose? And I said, it simply means just what I said, have an amazing day amazing day or weekend on purpose. Don't let anybody put your fire out, okay? You having a great day or an amazing weekend, no matter what is going on. I know I do. Doesn't matter what's going on in my life, I'm going to have a great day anyhow. You hear what I say? I'm going to have a great weekend anyhow. Even if I don't have anything planned, I'm going to have a great day because my day, it depends on me to make it great. I don't allow other things to make my day great. So, you know, that's just me. But anyway, y'all have a great rest of the day. And I'm trying to get the rest of these fries down, especially the real soft ones like this. I love soft fries. If they're hard and crunchy, mm -mm. they stay in the box and go in the trash. <laughs> but enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great weekend. I love you guys. Excuse me. I love you guys to the fullest. You know that. I love you to the moon and back. Thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you to those of you that continue to support me in all that I do. I love you no matter what. I love you in spite of you. Mm, how about that? And I'm going to keep loving you. So there's nothing that you can do about it. Until next time, enjoy your fries. Enjoy your cheat day. Let me ask you this real quick, y'all. Do you all have cheat days? Those of you that are watching what you eat, do you have? Because I've been eating baked fish corn string beans or baked fish corn and mixed vegetables all week so this is truly a treat for me and i will mm -mm -mm, stay on track the rest of today and then the rest of the weekend and you know maybe next friday i'll treat myself to a, a cheat day again it's not always friday it just depends on when i when i need it today i needed it because i don't have time to 
go to physical therapy and then get home and heat up my, my lunch. I'll just eat that for dinner, see? Anyway, y'all, I'm out. I love you. Nothing you can do about it. Go out there and make today amazing on purpose. Get you some fries, y'all, because these are so good. Until next time, mm -mm -mm. take care. <laughs>